What's up everyone? My name's Kelly and I'm a leader at Bulldog Yoga, where we think the more approachable yoga can be, the better. Our goal is pretty much yoga with no intimidation. Everyone eventually develops their own yoga preferences and it's great to know about all different types of yoga. The more you practice, the more you learn and eventually you'll learn what works for your body. Whether or not you crave fast flows or slow burns, yoga is for you. By adding in some dynamic aspects to your yoga practice, like fun flows, awesome music, and a not so serious tone, yoga can also be transformed into an awesome cardio workout. Because of that, power yoga is my workout of choice. I think it's a lighter way to add in some fun elements to your practice, but still get an awesome whole body workout. So you might be asking, what is power yoga? Can I keep up with it? Is it for me? Let's find out. Power Yoga is a fitness-based physical yoga practice that focuses on increasing your flexibility, your strength, and your stamina. So the strength building and cardio combination means that you get a workout that's rigorous and revitalizing. Power Yoga involves flowing through and holding postures to gain strength and build internal heat. So anatomically, everything makes sense, even though it's really hard work. You're using the pace of your breath to determine the pace at which your body moves. Power yoga is best for people who are looking for an athletic flow to help them increase their flexibility, build strength, and feel refreshed. In fact, Yoga Journal listed increased flexibility and increased strength as the two top benefits of yoga. While there are certainly modifications that you can make to a power flow and props are easily added to a power yoga practice, those looking for a more restorative flow might wanna steer clear of power yoga to start. However, it can be adapted for those who are new to the yoga practice. You can just start off holding poses for a little bit longer, start at a slower pace, and then amp your way up as you start to feel more comfortable. The more you practice power yoga, the easier it gets because your muscle memory eventually starts to kick in and you'll remember how your unique body looks and feels in certain poses. Before going into any style yoga class, be sure to check in with your body because you know it better than anyone else. Pay attention to places you might be feeling uncomfortable that day. Pay attention to places that you might have had injuries in the past and just be mindful of them as you flow through your practice. Know that you can slow down or modify your practice with props whenever you need. Power Yoga has a reputation for being really fast paced, but you really can take it at whatever pace you feel comfortable. Notice your breath. Like I said before, the faster you're breathing, the faster your flow is gonna get. And the slower, calmer, more controlled your breath is, the slower, calmer, more controlled your practice is. Also, know it's okay to take rests during power yoga. Child's pose, downward facing dog, laying on your back or standing tall in mountain pose at the top of your mat are all awesome postures to take when you really need a reset. Take a moment, take a breath, redirect your attention back inward and see how you feel before going back into your flow. If you're practicing in a heated room, be mindful of how your body tolerates high temperatures. Sometimes we have the tendency to get overheated when we're breathing in our strong yogic breath. That internal fire is building, you're getting hot, you're getting sweaty, everything's fueled up. Just take a second, pause, take a deep breath in, sigh it out, and release some of that internal heat. You'll immediately feel cooler, more chill, more relaxed. I like to tell people who take my classes that the most important skill that you can have as a yogi is listening well. Get yourself out of autopilot. As long as you're receptive to your leader's alignment cues, you will learn all that you need to know about yoga while you practice. Turn your listening ears on, people. You might be asking yourself, where can I do power yoga? You can do power yoga anywhere. Just begin to listen to your breath and start to move at the pace that you're breathing. For a power flow, throw in some extra push-ups, lots of flows, some pulses, See how your internal heat starts to build and send your breath and your attention to the areas of your body that might need some extra strength building. Even though you don't need one, typically power yoga uses a heated studio just because it helps your body safely move from a state of stiffness into a state of increased flexibility. So that heat really allows your muscles and tendons to get a little bit looser and longer and leaner the more you practice. You don't need anything to practice power yoga, just a little motivation. You can practice in a studio, in your living room, or on the beach with friends. Just start to channel your breath, generate some internal heat, and synchronize your physical yoga postures to your breath. Inhale, you lengthen. Exhale, you deepen. No mats, no props, no heated studio necessary. There is typically no meditation or chanting in power yoga. It's a more physical practice which calls upon your body to engage in a moving meditation rather than just sitting in stillness. 
So no pressure to learn Sanskrit or listen to Kirtan music if that's not your vibe. I know it's not mine. Yoga is the art of awareness, so all you have to do is pay attention to how your body is moving and how you feel at that given moment. Unlike a sport, you're working your entire body, so you're not overworking the same few muscles or building strength only in isolated areas of your body. It's a more refined, defined, definitive practice that works your entire body, strengthening it and making it flexible in all areas. You always have the option of varying the intensity of your practice in power yoga too. On days you're feeling more mellow, slow it down, feel the burn, kind of calm yourself and hold poses a little bit longer. But on days that you want a booty burning flow, amp it up, throw in some pulses, throw in some push-ups, and get at that cardio. Yoga is versatile, so that means that your body is going to get different benefits every single day from the same broader pool of wonderful elements of yoga. You might be wondering if power yoga can serve as your only workout of the day, and the answer to that is heck yeah, it's all I ever do. Yoga is a full body workout, and the strength building and cardio elements of power flow can easily replace the hour that you spend at the gym every day. The heat you generate in your body during a power flow helps you burn more calories, stimulates weight loss, and actually maximizes your blood flow. According to a study published by the Journal of Health Psychology, in addition to improving your mental acuity and your posture, yoga can also help relieve tension because it helps you release toxins through your sweat. So there's your power-packed breakdown of what power yoga is in just a few minutes. Feel free to submit any remaining questions you may have in the comments down below, and be sure to let us know what you learned about power yoga today. Also, be sure to follow the Bulldog Yoga YouTube channel to keep up with the videos we'll be posting every month to help you increase your knowledge of what exactly yoga is. Also, be sure to follow Bulldog online for fun yoga flows for both beginner and experienced yogis. Until next time, have fun sweating.